We got a wicked weather weekend coming up with major wind storms and other wild things like that. Snowfall. Ooh, all the details are coming up to you right now. It's Thursday right now at 11.55 in the morning. And we're enjoying some sunshine here in Wells, British Columbia. The high pressure's taking over. That is going to lead to some cold temperatures tomorrow. We'll talk about that too. But the big story is the windstorm. It's going to be the worst windstorm of the year. Wow. And on the first day of the year too. So enjoying a day without any weather watches or warnings or special weather statements in the British Columbia interior. Although along the coast... Just recently, within the last hour, I believe, a weather watch has been issued for winter storm warning. Arctic outflow warnings remain in effect also for the central coast and north coast, but also uh, Yoho and Kootenai Park. Winter storm watch in effect for central coast, coastal sections. Significant winter storm expected. New Year's Day. Bella Coola, Hagensborg, Rivers Inlet. Bella Bella Highway 20. This strong storm system intensifying over the Gulf of Alaska will cross the central coast on Saturday. Heavy snow is expected with 30 to 50 centimeters of snowfall accumulation possible for inland areas. Locations near the immediate coast will likely warm sufficiently with increasing southerly winds and wet snow mixed with rain is likely. Snowfall accumulations along the coast should be far less than what is expected inland. Travel is expected to be hazardous due to reduced visibility in some places. Maybe try to avoid going over that pass on the way into Bella Coola. So the high pressure exists in British Columbia. We start the day with that cold Arctic air mass still reaching through much of the interior. It's a spillover high from what's sitting stationary over Alberta right now and is bringing them all that cold weather. The day starts minus 37 in Fort St. John, minus 33 Dawson Creek and Chetwin, minus 27 in Mackenzie, 26 Pinchy, 33 in Bear Lake, 35 in Prince George, 29 in Quinnell, 28 in Williams Lake, 24 in Clearwater and Barrier, 25 in Blue River, 23 in Revelstoke, 23 in Kamloops and Kilchina and Cherryville, 24 Princeton, 19 in Vernon, 14 in Kelowna, a balmy 13 in Penticton, Salmo, 19, 22 Cranbrook, 22 Wassa, 27 Elkford, 24 in Golden, 29 in Lake Louise, and you get the picture. The good news is that when this storm system starts moving in, it's going to push back some of this cold weather. We're going to see some of the warmer temperatures we've seen in a while on Saturday and Sunday. That's going to come mixed with snow and rain and wind. We have a strong Aleutian low Friday at 9 a.m. Converging with another one, that high pressure that lives off the coast of California and Oregon, sliding that all directly towards British Columbia. And we're going to see a lot of high winds. That starts to develop in the strait between Haida Gwaii and Prince Rupert. We see Friday 9 p.m. strong winds have already started and we can look at uh, wind gusts now and get a good picture of what wind will look like this weekend in the interior. That strong wind starts to move along Vancouver Island all along the BC West Coast. Another wave of it coming at Haida Gwaii. We see that wind start to pick up in the interior. Now we get some strong winds developing, especially at the upper level in the mountaintops. Saturday 5 a.m. Some of that strong wind is now making its way in between, say, places like Quinnell and Prince George. 36 knots, that's 66 kilometer per hour wind gusts. 50 knots, you're looking at uh, almost 100 kilometers per hour, something like 92. And that's sort of starting to find itself in the mountaintops. Saturday, 5 a.m., wind's picking up. The higher you live in elevation, maybe the more you're going to feel that. Saturday, 10 a.m., you see the temperature is beating back. There's only a small bubble of that really extreme cold air. Cranbrook, Revelstoke maybe trail the last of that arctic air getting forced southward and by this time that's when that strong pounding of rain and snow is going to start up around prince rupert just south of kitimat directly in the crosshairs harley bay sun inlet through the caribous monashies columbia mountains lots of snow snow north of prince george northwest now saturday at 3 p.m we start seeing stronger and stronger winds and it's spreading out all over. Now you're seeing uh, 47, gusts of 47 between Quinnell and Prince George. Similar between uh, Quinnell and Williams Lake. <coughs> 41 knots. 41 knots is about 75 kilometers an hour. Strong wind gust. Snow's moving inland. And then it's also reaching to Vancouver Island and the Coast Mountains now. Saturday at 10 p.m. The interior not getting very much of that snow at all. Pretty clear there. But intense wind gusts. 
This bubble south of Hansville is particularly concerning. 66 knots is about 122 kilometers per hour. Golly! Put that in perspective, 122 kilometers per hour is the bottom scale of hurricane category one strength, hurricane force winds. We don't need any of them hurricanes around here no more. That temperature beating back even more now. Overnight on Saturday, only minus four in Kamloops, minus two Lillooet, minus two in Chilliwack, minus eight Penticton, minus six in Vernon. And even a pocket of warm air where that strong wind is. Skip ahead Sunday, 1 a.m. Now we have snow pretty much everywhere in British Columbia except for the very southeast corner. Snowing good along the mountains of Mackenzie, Chetwin. Snowing in the mountains north of McBride hard. But the real strong snow, again, and this is where a lot of it's been lately, Pemberton, Whistler, near Squamish, north end of Harrison Lake, all those mountains. Sunday, 1 a.m., that wind is finally starting to ease off a little, 4 a.m. easing off even more. Now it's mostly in the southern part of the province. Well, good. Get on out of here. But look where it's coming from. It's coming from that big low that's just swooping down and getting deeper and deeper. So you see Sunday at 1 p.m., Really strong winds for Vancouver, just north of Victoria, and lots of snow lashing on all through. Looks like that southern interior is going to get a good lashing again. Look for Highway 3 to have lots of snow problems Sunday night. Significant snow day starting for Monday. Snow all over the interior. Some of the dry places maybe a little less. Looks like south of Williams Lake seems to get, you know, very little a lot of the time. So by Sunday at 1 p.m., most of that wind will have eased off, but definitely concerning for power outages are possible, trees getting blown over or branches getting blown off, you know, uh, snowmen getting knocked over, their noses flying away in the wind. Definitely some strong winds coming to the interior this weekend. Batten down the hatches and be ready for it. Also, lots of snow coming. We'll wait to see if Environment Canada releases more watches and warnings. I'm sure they're coming. This is beginning a pattern where in the next 10 days, we're going to see lots of snow, lots of more snow for uh, many places in British Columbia. Maybe not as much in the central interior, but be ready for it, friends. So uh, do me a favor and uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'll keep giving you weather updates as much as I can and keep letting you know what's going on because that's what I like to do. And it's uh, kind of my hobby and stuff. I really like it when people subscribe. It, it makes my day every single subscriber subscribe or i'll shoot something and you may not like what it is that i shoot take it easy but take it